In this short video, we'll show you how to create a customized plugin to discover and validate web application vulnerabilities. To write a customized web plugin, requires a developer with a solid skill of the web application development, and extensive experience with penetration test. We assume you have had payload developed via manual tool, or obtained from public sources such as GitHub etc. This exercise shows you how to convert a vulnerabilities payload to a RidgeBot readable plugin, and add it into RidgeBot plugin library so that it can be integrated into your future automated test. Please note, to ensure your security and privacy, you own the plugins that you create. Your plugins are only available in your local RidgeBot. They will not be added to RidgeBot's global library. In this example, we'll show you how to create your plugin for CVE 20212528 validation. Let's begin. After login into your RidgeBot, click plugin on the top menu, and then click create plugin. There are three steps to complete a plugin creation, they're listed as vulnerability, fingerprint, and editing rule. Vulnerability page collects the description about this vulnerability you aim to create. As RidgeBot follows NIST standard for CVE information, you can copy and paste the vulnerability information from NIST website. Or if this vulnerability is specific to your organization, just fill out the information accordingly. Let me point out a few fields. Severity matches the CVSS score severity for this vulnerability. Risk control, refers to the impact upon your target by executing this plugin. Position, describe the payload position in your request URL. Payload, fills in with the description of the payload you're going to use. Test link, is the URL of your test target. Fingerprint page is to fill out the impacted applications, version information, and underlying operating systems. Editing rule is where you'll put your formula together. You can write multiple rules, and glue them together by common logical ways, and, or, no, parenthesis. The digit 1 here indicates the sequence order of the rules. We recommend you put your payload information in a notepad, so you can easily copy and paste into rules. First, let's build step 1 request. The version refers to HTTP version. In this example, we use post as method, query is slash run and then input content type, application slash json. Put the payload into the field of body. The second step is to add matching condition. In this example, there are two matching conditions status code, and response body. Condition 1, status match 200. Condition 2, wildcard matching after salt slash wheel. How do you know it's a wildcard matching? In this case, if you run curl command twice, and you can observe in the return message, strings after salt slash wheel are changing, which indicates the strings after salt slash wheel are wildcard. Parameter is tag. And the rule is to match both condition 1 and condition 2. After you created a request, and two matching conditions, this plugin is done. Click submit to submit this plugin into your local RidgeBot plugin database. Let's check it. Click the vulnerability name, it shows the information you just filled out, and a plugin ID assigned to this new plugin. The backend engine transcribes your inputs to this XML file, this file is stored in the local hard drive of RidgeBot. You can further validate this plugin, by putting the test target URL here, and start to verify. This verifies the plugin syntax, and proves it's working fine. This new plugin will be added to your local plugin library and ready to be used for your next task. When you create a new task, you can see this new plugin in the list. And if you want to include it in your test, please make sure to check it. Congratulations! Now you know how to make a customized plugin. Good luck with your test!